So the video says move to Hungary for free. And when I say free, what does it mean? It means that you do not have to pay an application fee. You do not need an agent. You could apply directly to this opportunity on your own. And the good thing is that there is a scholarship I'm going to talk to you about, which covers your tuition fee. It gives you a monthly stipend. It covers accommodation and medical insurance. So what you need to do is to apply. Let me know in the comment section which university you are looking for. Um, no, which program you are looking for a scholarship in and which country. An example is I'm looking for a master's in physics and I'm interested in US. Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to leave these opportunities for you. I'm going to search for these opportunities for you and I'm going to share with you. I'm one last thing is I'm planning on starting a Telegram group to share these opportunities with you. I'm not too sure if this is something you will need, but let me know in the comment section. Do you think I should create a Telegram group? And if the response are favorable, I think I'll create a Telegram group to share more of these opportunities with you. So, and who can apply for this opportunity? This opportunity is for people who are looking for bachelor's degree. They are looking for master's and they are looking for PhD. So let's take a pause from the US, UK, Australia and look at Hungary. So Hungary is a country in Europe. What this means is it's part of the European Union. And once you get to go to Hungary to study, you're able to get a Schengen visa so you could visit anywhere in Europe. With the masters, some universities will require you to get a supervisor. Others will not require you to get a supervisor. So you need to check this. So now this let's look at eligibility. Who can apply? Can everybody apply to this opportunity? Unfortunately, no. There are certain countries that are allowed to apply. And the good thing is that most of my viewers can apply. So if you are from Ghana, you can apply. If you are from Kenya, you can apply. If you are from India, Japan, Bangladesh, you can apply. I'm going to leave it somewhere on the video for you to see the eligible countries. So once um, your country is eligible, you can apply for this opportunity. The next thing we are going to look at is how do you apply? So the application is in two stages. The first stage is you apply online to this opportunity. So the opportunity I'm talking about is the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship. So the first thing is everything is online. You apply online to the Stipendium Hungaricum. Once you are done, you are going to download the document and you are going to submit it to your sending partners. Um, your sending partner is your home country. So this scholarship is between the Hungary Home government and certain countries that are eligible. So your country will have to nominate you. And for your country to know that you have applied, you need to send them these documents. In the second part of the video, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to show you how to apply to the Hungary Home scholarship as well as how to send your documents to your sending partners. This is just an overview of the scholarship to know how it works so this is the application process so it's very important to check if your university is part don't just apply to one and leave the other part the next thing is hungary that means they are speaking the language they speak is hungarian but you speak english can you study in hungary and the answer is yes there are so many english programs that you can choose from it is not compulsory to be able to speak Hungary. But the good thing is that once you go to Hungary, there is a period where you can study Hungary for free to enable you to master the language, to move around. So if you don't study, if you don't know Hungary, don't really be worried that can I study, you are going to study in English. And there are so many um, English programs you can apply for. Now let's look at the documents. Um, because your program is in English, they will need you to show proof that you can speak English. If you are from a native English speaking country like Ghana, like your home country is English, you do not need to write the IELTS exam. You can ask your university to write a letter to prove, or even from your transcripts, they can see that you speak English. So you do not need to write an exam. But like if you are from Japan, where the, or you are from France, where the language of instruction is not English. Unfortunately, you will need to write these exams. The next question people will ask is, can you work whilst you get the scholarship or whilst you are studying in Hungary? And the answer is yes. Hungary offers 
you're able to work for 30 hours per week which even if you get a scholarship you could work for 30 hours per week to help you with your day-to-day -day life because now because of inflation inflation cost of living has become a, a bit high so it's all these opportunities are uh, good so the first like just to give a recap your country will need to select you and once they select you hunger hunger and um, hungry will also have to select you the process is really simple and easy to go about so if you have any questions let me know so this is just a brief overview i'm going to summarize what i said so the scholarship is a stipendium hunger Reclaim scholarship this is for people who are looking for bachelor's, master's, and a PhD. There are two types of application. One to your sending, your sending partner, that is the country you are from, and the other is your host country, that is Hungary. You can study for 30, you can work for 30 hours per week during your studies. You do not need an IELTS exams if you are from a native English speaking country there is no application fee so everything is free you do not need an agent to apply you can apply on your own and one last and the deadline is 15 january so you need to be quick to apply for this opportunity this opportunity is repeated every year the programs are diverse there are so many universities in hungary that you could apply for so just check the university check the programs they are offering and see if this is what you are looking for as usual, let me know what's in for you. So apply for the Stipendium Hungary Recruitment Scholarship. The deadline is 15th January. Till you hear from me again.